Hey, what's up guys? Mike here with PTP Gun. Uh, today I'm heading out to the U.S. Oyster Festival. We're going to have a booth set up. Uh, it's going to be pretty awesome. People from all over the, the United States, the world for that matter, come over here and uh, compete shucking oysters. So it's pretty cool. It's going to be a lot of fun, um, but we're going to have a booth set up. And I wanted to try out a new holster. I was scrolling Facebook the other day and I saw an advertisement for this guy here. This is the Bravo Belt. Right, so it's a, a belly band style holster. And, um, you know, I don't have a, you know, whatever. I'm not proud to say this or whatever, but I don't have like the best figure. I don't really have like a firm derriere or hips for that matter that like hold my pants up. In fact, if like I could get away with it, my wife wouldn't stop me, I'd probably wear suspenders. So what I've noticed is with a normal belt or even a tactical belt and normal pants and a holster, my pants always seem to fall down. So I wanted to come up with something else. I wanted to try something else, I should say, uh, for my everyday carry concealed uh, needs. So I went ahead and picked this up. This is the Bravo belt. All right, let me go ahead and open this guy up. All right, so the bag says, bravobelt.com, designed in the United States, hand wash in cold water with mild soap, do not tumble dry, lay flat to dry, dry away from direct sunlight, all right? This is the athletic performance holster, size small to large. I guess one size fits all, unless you're a big boy. Up to 44 inches, all right? So, I'm gonna open this guy up. All right, so there you have it. A big, long uh, Velcro style. Looked kind of like a back brace, which is kind of cool. Um, but what I like about it is it does have a lot of different pockets here. Now, depending on where you go and what, what kind of holster you're looking into, they're starting to come out with a lot more holsters, you know, for, you know, people who wear joggers, sweatpants, shorts, something like that, whenever they just want to jump in the truck and at night, run over to the dollar store and get some ice cream or something like that. They may not always want to put on their pants and put on a belt and do that kind of stuff so they can fit their full holster and their full workout on them. Um, you know, especially if you're using a full frame firearm, like a full size firearm, like, Glock 17 or the SIG P320 or, you know, your 1911 style firearms. Um, there's a lot of them, right? The big guys. So when you have something like that on you, it's wanting to pull down your pants, especially if you're wearing like joggers or something. What I like about this is all of the weight or what I'm hoping is going to work with this, what the reviews say is that a lot of the weight is just carried on your body. So I'm going to go ahead and throw this guy on. All right. See if I can back up on the camera here a little bit so you can see what's going on. All right, so there it is. Now, of course, I'll have it up underneath my underneath my shirt, but yeah, we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna give this thing a shot, guys. We're gonna try it out uh, at least all day today, and I'll probably wear it for the next few weeks, and then I'll come back out and give you guys a proper review on it. But it looks like looks like it's gonna work. So yeah, I'm I'm, I'm happy to see how this thing plays out. Hey guys, so I've been wearing this um, this belly band now for the past few weeks, um, just to really, so I could give you a really good, honest review about that. It's been kind of my everyday carry now for the past few weeks. I wanted to get the most honest review I can. So I've worn this thing um, in the car, on the job. Uh, I've worn it out, out to dinner. I've worn it around the house. I've worn it everywhere. I've worn it with jeans and or joggers. I've worn it with just about everything. I've worn it in flip-flops and pajamas. I wanted to get as close and as intimate with this belly band as I can. So I'll go ahead and show you guys what my common setup is, right? So again, what I like about the band is it doesn't put the load on your pants. What I like about this belly band is two things. It's positional, so you can move it just about wherever you want. And what my wife said is it actually looks like it's giving me some like back support, which is honestly pretty cool. But it does have a retention, right? So it becomes almost like a level two uh, holster there. Um, you know, you have to make a dedicated effort to get be able to get to your firearm. It conceals very well. Um, if I put it in the right position, like right here at about the three o'clock position, I don't, I don't have a lot of printing. You can't really see it, especially when my hands are down. Right, so if concealment is really what you're going for, I really like that. Um, another factor, and this is something that a lot of people that conceal carry 
run into. Uh, and that is the dreaded poop break, right? What do you do with your firearm when you're in the, when you're in the toilet stall? Um, a lot of people exclusively look for handicap stalls so that they can take their, their gear off and set it up. Um, I've always been told and my practice is never to get the gun off of my body whenever I'm using a restroom. So I do what I like to call put it in the Easter basket, which is really just sitting it right there in your underwear whenever you drop your pants down, um, which can be a challenge sometimes. What I like about this, and I'll try to demonstrate it here without pulling my mic off, is you can just take this thing, raise it up, and cinch it around your chest whenever you're sitting down on the toilet. So. Maybe that's something you're into, maybe it's not. That's what I found, what I really like. That's an added benefit. Let's go ahead and lower it back down here. And you can see it is adjustable. I got the, um, I got the large size, uh, it works for me. I have a 36 inch waist and, and quite the uh, old man belly here. And this seems to work for me. So this is what it would look like if I, draw, if I drew this firearm. And again, I'm not an expert. I don't have a sub second drawer or anything like that. I want to be able to conceal without people really noticing the firearm. I want good support and I want a secured firearm. Those are my must haves. So if the situation arises, you know, and seconds matter, maybe this is a little bit slower, but it's the price you pay for this ultimate level of concealment that I've been able to find. But really clear the garment, get that out of the way, draw and present. It's pretty simple, right? Now that's the way that I use this thing. This is, again, this is the Bravo belt um, belly band holster. Maybe it's gonna work for you, maybe it's not, but I'm just gonna let you guys know, this is by far, especially with gym shorts or joggers or something without a belt, this is by far my favorite holster so far. Um, so yeah, with that guys, uh, there'll be links down to this Bravo belt down in the description. Also, if you wanna get hands on, you know, come on out to any of our classes. Uh, come out to our handgun one, handgun two classes coming up very soon. Come out to any of our basic pistol classes, our HQL or our two day wear and carry classes. We generally will have different varieties of holsters for you to try out. And this will be one that we can showcase for you guys. Uh, because again, it's about us doing the research so that you get the best product possible. And with that guys, as always, train, defend, prevail, we're out.